This is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're at the 8th Annual Precious Metals Summit in Beaver Creek, Colorado. With me right now is Derek White from Ascot Resources. It's a publicly traded company, two symbols for you, AOT on the TSX Venture and AOTVF in the U.S. Derek, welcome to SNN Live. Thank you very much, Robert. Glad to be here. It's great to have you on. So for our audience, let's get an overview of the company, and we'll go from there. So um, Ascot is a company in the Golden Triangle, a gold company, and we're right now working on restarting a mine to produce potentially 200,000 ounces a year for a minimum of 10 years. And what region are you guys operating in? Um, We're right on the Alaska-BC border, um, up in the Pacific Northwest. So, you know, I want to get a history of the company. When did it start, and how did you develop to where you're currently at today? Well, we're actually relatively new to the company, but the company started in 1920, and the Guggenheim family financed one of the largest gold mines in North America. Um, And since that time, there's been three mines on this property, and um, we're interested in actually restarting one of the the mines that was built in, in the 1990s. So tell me a little bit more about the property itself, some bit about the history behind it. Let's hear that. Um, Well, the Golden Triangle is known geologically for having some of the highest grade gold in the world. And um, the challenge in the Golden Triangle is this is mountains and glaciers and a lot of things that require a lot of infrastructure. We're blessed with um, having some of the best infrastructure in the southern part of the Golden Triangle next to Stewart, BC and Hyder, Alaska. Um, And we're really interested in utilizing that infrastructure to take some of that high grade um, at a much lower cost than typically a a greenfield site would have to do. So what about the project that you're developing is unique when compared to other projects in the same region? Well, the last um, big mine that was built in the Golden Triangle was about, was the Bruce Jack mine by Predium Resources, and that was about an $800 million build. Um, our view is the infrastructure we have is something in the order of one twentieth of that cost. So what's unique for us is we have 620,000 um, meters of drilling that we've inherited from our predecessors, and all this infrastructure we hope to utilize, which makes our restart capital much lower than normal. So tell me a little bit about the exploration team that's working on this project. Um, Well, the exploration team is a combination um, of the new management that's joined in November, which is myself and some former people from the Quad FNX days, um, and also um, some guys that were involved as a geologist that have been exploring here for the last nine years. Um, And they have identified a number of different areas which we are hoping to take into mining. So, you know, you mentioned a little bit earlier that this is an advanced stage project. You know, does the company, is it just focusing on these advanced stage projects or are you also open to doing more exploration on the property? Um, Sometimes we get accused of being engineers and not focusing on exploration. Um, And just recently we've come up with a new technique um, of geophysics um, that allows us to find a number of exploration targets. So we haven't given up on exploration. Um, And in fact, we think it's more exciting now than it has been in the past. And what's your background? I mean, how did you get into all of this? Well, I'm an engineer by training, and I've worked on restart mines um, over a 30-year period in various parts of the world. And we were approached by the shareholders of Ascot last year in the fall and to see if the team from the former Quadra FNX would be willing to come and restart this mine. We weren't sure, so we went up there and we got really excited about what they had and, and the opportunity, and the whole team decided to come over to the company last November, and we've been working away ever since. And from what you can tell me, what are some of the company's value catalysts moving into 2019? Um, Well, the biggest value catalyst for us is completing our engineering study. So we're taking three areas and putting that into resources and re-engineering the restart of this mine. We hope to complete that by the end of this year, and that's a big catalyst, which will show the true value uplift that we really think is available. Sometimes in today's market, they don't get to see that, and and we're hoping to work towards that. That's probably our biggest catalyst. And then ultimately restarting the mining, producing cash flow that we can send out um, to our shareholders. And where can our audience find more information about Ascot Resources? At www.ascotgold.com. Thank you very much. My name is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live. And we're at the 8th Annual Precious Metals Summit here in Beaver Creek, Colorado. With me again is Derek White from Ascot Resources, publicly traded company, two symbols for you, AOT on the TSX Venture and AOTVF in the U.S. Derek, thank you for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you, Robert.